God is our strength and refuge, a helper ever near. While resting in his shelter, no evil will we fear. Not if the mountains crumble into the angry sea, nor if the surging ocean exceeds its boundary. The city of our God His throne stands unaffected While kingdoms rise and fall One word from Jacob's Savior Will melt the raging throng The Lord of hosts is with he is our fortress strong. Behold God's glorious power. He makes all warfare cease. Each weapon he will shatter. The world will be at peace. Be still, Christ, heaven sovereign. Be still, for I am God. All kingdoms, all creation will bow beneath my turned placid when Jesus cried be still fears gone twelve men stood gasping when waves obeyed his will and soon the same voice speaking will calm earth's rebel storm Lord of hosts is with us both now and evermore. Hello everyone. As I record this on Thursday, we're enjoying yet another beautiful day. The Lord be with you. And also with you. We started this time with a beautiful song. It was based on the words of Psalm 48, and it was set to a tune that we usually use for that well-known hymn, The Church's One Foundation. We're actually going to look at Psalm 121, which is the psalm set for today. But I think those words that we've just heard still really apply. Psalm 121 is one of the best known and most loved psalms. So I'm going to read it to you now. I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. 
the Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. Glory and to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. This psalm is about a traveller praying for God's protection on his journey to Jerusalem, a journey that took him through some dangerous places on his way up into the hills around the city. None of us are actually travelling very far today. I filled up my car with petrol in mid-March and it's still half full. If you told me that at the beginning of the year, I wouldn't have believed you. We do indeed live in strange times. Nevertheless, although we may not be travelling much physically, we are still journeying through life. And our journey is taking us through a very strange landscape at the moment. Like the journey in the psalm, it is also <coughs> fraught with danger. Danger from COVID-19 itself and from the fallout of the pandemic. Loss of jobs, loss of income, loss of learning time in school, increase in abuse of women and children and many other dangers and problems that we probably haven't even thought about yet. We don't really know what the new landscape will look like in the future. Such thoughts can make us scared, as any journey into the unknown can do. But this psalm reassures us that we don't need to arrive at our destination before we're under the Lord's protective care. God is just as present with us during the journey. He is with us now. He's protecting us during the day and the night, in good times and in bad. Do you remember in his confrontation with the prophets of Baal on Mount Carmel, Elijah mocked the idol prophets when Baal did not respond, saying of Baal, Perhaps he's asleep and must be awakened. That's in 1 Kings 18 verse 27. But we, we have great comfort in knowing that he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. God's watchful eye is always open, looking with love and care upon his people. He's not mortal. He doesn't need to sleep like we do. He is constantly looking after us. And that thought should give us comfort as we negotiate the rocky road that we find ourselves on at present. Please keep that thought constantly with you. The Lord is with you always. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that we can know that you are looking after us at all times in good times and in bad, in the day and the night, in whatever situation we find ourselves. As we journey on each day, may we be constantly aware of your presence in our lives. We thank you that you have provided for us. And we ask that we will have open hands and open hearts to provide for those who have less than we do. Lord, we ask for your protection over those who are at the front line of this pandemic, especially those who are risking themselves daily to care for those who are sick. And we know that COVID-19 has got into some of our local retirement homes. And we pray that you will protect all those who live in those residential homes for the elderly. Protect us, Lord, from fear and anxiety. May we be aware of your comforting presence with us, knowing that you are looking after us every step of the way. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let us pray <coughs> the COVID collect. God, God bless, bless the world. world. Give it wisdom, wisdom at this time. Grant, Grant us, us relief and release. 
be with those who are ill and bless the carers fighting this pandemic. For Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. <clears throat> Please join me as we pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray the prayer for Africa. God, bless Africa. Protect our women and children. Transform our leaders. Heal our communities. Restore our dignity and give us peace. For Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. So let's share the grace with one another. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and always. Amen. <clears throat> and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you all and all those for whom you pray now and always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Lots of love to you all as usual. I do miss you, but we will meet again. Keep well and keep safe. Goodbye.